still ahead here. The holidays are different this year, but Parenting.com editor will be live with us to share her holiday hacks. It's coming up next. We all know 2020 has changed the way we do many things, and Christmas celebrations may look a little different this year. Parenting.com editor Bethany Braun Silva joins us this morning to share her holiday hacks. Good morning to you. Good morning, Eric, you said it exactly right. It has been a crazy different yeah. year, but parents like you and I, we are looking for ways to make the holidays especially great for our kids. And I have five ways you can do, do okay. just that. Yeah, well, I have three the kids, we're way, a family of oh, five, so I'm glad that, uh, that you're with me on this. And by the way, I love your festive setup. Okay, give it to us, give us some of the ideas here. All right, well, the first one is to wear an ugly Christmas sweater. Be fun and festive. I mean, today is actually National Ugly Christmas Sweater Day, so it's the perfect day, perfect day to throw on one of these babies. Um, the mine is from Joyin, and they also make headbands and uh, glasses for kids. My boys love wearing these because of all the looks and reactions they get out in the street. They're like little joy spreaders wearing them, so it's so fun. Whether you love it or hate it, you can't deny that they really bring a smile to everybody's face, so they see you in an ugly Christmas sweater. Love that. Let's talk then, a little bit about um, gift exchanges. I think that's, you know, a lot of people are used to, hey, getting something from grandma and grandpa, you know, they open it in front of them or their cousins. And, you know, obviously that's not, that's not safe and advisable this year, but we can still do gift exchanges in a fun way, right? Yes, absolutely. Like everything else, gift exchanges has pivoted and gone virtual. Mm -hmm. You can still play games like Secret Santa, White Elephant. There's sites like Elfster.com or WhiteElephantOnline.com where it's super easy, all laid out for you on the site. The rules, you can set a budget, invite people, and then you just invite your family and you open all your gifts. And then the best part is nobody leaves empty handed. So you get to bring that kind of holiday spirit, gift giving aspect, even though you can't be together in person. A lot of people around this time of year, as you know here, uh, Bethany, want that picture with Santa or that experience with Santa and, and, and the kids telling Santa what's on their Christmas wish list, right? Is there still an opportunity to have a back and forth with uh, good old St. Nick? Absolutely, Eric. I don't know about your kids, but my kids are absolutely panicked at the idea of not having a meeting with Santa right. this year. But there's, again, great websites. The one we used is called visitwiththecloses.com. And the secret, you know, little trick to it is that when you book the appointment, you're filling out all these fun facts about your kids. So when the meeting is on, Santa just comes in hot. My kids were floored. They had like, how does he know this? What? Oh my gosh. He was asking <laughs> them about their favorite sports teams. He didn't even ask them what they wanted for Christmas. He told them what they wanted for Christmas. Oh. And for a little extra, yeah, it was awesome. And for a little extra fee, you could even get the whole meeting recorded. So we've watched ours like five times already. Oh, it's a memory awesome. you will have forever. Yeah. And you don't have to deal with the, uh, the long lines at the mall either for that one. Right. I, I mean, right. really, honestly, it's a little more intimate, right? I, I would definitely say so. Definitely more intimate, personal, and you're in the comfort of your own home too. So they, they, they were, my kids are really into that. I know I see the big, nice TV that you have there next to you. And um, <laughs> I will love to just gather up with the family and watch, you know, whether it's home alone or some other good Christmas flick around this time of year. Um, what do you think of that? I love that idea. I mean, this is something you were probably going to do anyway. It's right. just a classic tradition. Gather the family, throw on a movie like Home Alone, Elf, on Netflix, Christmas Chronicles, Christmas Chronicles 2. We, there's a new one also this year, Jingle Jangle, which my family absolutely loves. You can even throw on some matching holiday pajamas for a really festive night, and which my kids love is I set up a little mini hot chocolate bar. I have Ooh, the mugs. You can like put in that. toppings like candy canes, marshmallows, little Hershey kisses. I don't know if they'll be able to <laughs> sit through the entire movie with all the sugar you're loading yeah, them no up kidding. with, but it really is a special treat, and the kids absolutely love it. You might have to do like a halftime uh, during the movie. <laughs> right. Go run around outside, get some fresh air, and come back down and, uh, and sit yeah. down. Um, so, you know, a lot of people love sitting down with grandma or uh, an aunt who's a really good baker and makes those amazing Christmas cookies. Um, is there a way we could still do the baking given, you know, the constraints we have? Absolutely. I mean, this is one of my favorite holiday traditions, even though I'm not an expert baker. I love to, there's just something about gathering around the kitchen and baking something with your family. And 
if you do that, there's even a way to share and spread the love. I mean, that is what the holidays are all about. After all, you can get little goodie bags, throw in some cookies, and then drop them off to friends, families, and neighbors in a socially distanced way. If you even know of a first responder or an essential worker in your town, give them one. They deserve it. I mean, after the year it's been, just spread the joy whenever and wherever you can. That's just one simple way to do it. Yeah, instead of, uh, you know, maybe getting a small gift, maybe you can give them some baked goods. Hey, Bethany, thanks for the uh, great ideas here this morning. We really appreciate it, and uh, happy holidays to you. Happy holidays, Eric. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming on. Going to look a little different here, but as Bethany pointed out, there are still lots of fun ways we can still have that fun and keep those traditions alive. I know, and I love that you get a lot of ideas from these segments oh, as yeah. well. You're like, oh, that's oh, a good yeah. one. I'm going to try that <laughs> with I'm my kids. I'm keeping these notes. I know, huh? Yeah, <laughs>